Good morning, I'm so glad you're here. Grab a rock and let's paint. So today we're just going to do a bit of a water wash uh, look on a rock and it's really simple to do. And first I'm just going to colour in the front section of my rock which is like the, a boardwalk. So I'm trying to uh, just create a little bit of a wood look here. So I'm just going over with some light brown Posca. Okay, let's get into it. So I've let that dry and I've just wanted to see what one, one layer of colour would look like. And I'm quite happy with the one layer of colour. So I'm going in between with a darker brown just to give it a little bit of depth. And that's going to be uh, the walkway, like I said. And now we just want to create the, the background and the sunset. So the way I'm doing that is I'm just dipping my water in, uh, dipping my water, dipping my paintbrush in water. I'm wetting the rock, so I'm dabbing some of the colour then onto the rock and because the water is wet, obviously, the paint is wet, so it's all just bleeding into each other and it just gives a really lovely water wash like, a, like watercolour paints do. Okay, so you can see as I put it down, you can see how it just bleeds out into the water. Okay, and I'm just going to keep doing that with a few different colours to create the sunset. So here I'm going to do exactly the same thing with yellow. I'm wetting my brush, I'm putting the water on the rock and then I'm taking that wet brush and I'm dabbing it on my paint pen, popping it down onto the rock and you can see it all bleed out uh, into each other. So I'm going to use a purple, I'm going to use yellow and I've got this light blue here as well which as you can see as it bleeds into a bit of the yellow it's it's sort of giving a bit of a green colour as well. Okay, You can see that the, the rock, the, the water on the rock is going to start drying out. When that happens it will just soak up a lot more darker paint. You can keep adding a little bit more water and you can thicken up the colour you know by adding more colour but what I recommend to do is do this light wash first like I am and just let it dry let the water evaporate and then have a look at the colour that you're left with and if you think it's still too light then wet the rock and start again so you can just keep going with the same process because you can see as it dries how it's just going to get uh, sort of lighten up and give its true colors So I'm sort of just going over it Because while it's wet just a couple of light layers and Here I've let it dry and this is what I'm left with you can see how it's blended into each other But you can't I'm just going around the edges in a little bit of a darker darker blue to define it here you can't tell what it's going to look like until you let it dry so that's why I said let the the color let the water evaporate out so then you know where to add the color in so you can see I'm adding some more to get depth around the edges and I can literally see where it's too light and then I can just go in with my damp brush and pick up a bit of the paint and darken up the areas that I want but while the rock is wet you you can't actually tell it's very hard to tell where the colors are going to be like quite solid okay obviously I want to get some darker right in on the horizon line here so I'm going to add but I'm letting the outer edges of the purple just stay uh, with that blended color and I'm just bringing that darker right in on the horizon line I've stopped, looked at the yellow, and exactly the same thing. I'm just coming in with some darker areas. I'm leaving the rest to wash into each other. Okay. Yeah, I'm just adding in some shading onto the boardwalk. just going to wet that in a little bit so it blends in some of the darker brown. I'm just going to go around each piece of the wood planks 
and just yeah blend that across I've got the wet brush I'm just dabbing it on top of my brown pen and I'm creating that look I'm still going to come in with my black pen later on but I just really want to get all that brown brown in place and then I'm going to create the silhouette look all using my black pen so I'll just stop and see that I've got all the shading where I want it you can see every time is I sort of I always turn my rock around to face me I stop and I just give myself a couple of seconds to look at it and see what I want to do not all the time you know am I perfectly getting it right but the way I see it is like it's always perfectly right like because it's right for you so however you think where the shading should be is right for you I'm trying to get it on the outer edges or where the planks meet each other so the lighter areas are sort of in the middle area and I really just want to get that little bit darker purple in on the horizon so I've taken I've actually taken a darker purple and I'm just going to really make that quite deep on that line okay let's grab a photo for Facebook friends and let's keep going the rest is pretty simple what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get my black pen I'm just going to start outlining everything so I'll start on the on the wood on the boardwalk and I'm just going to go down oh trust me to go straight off the line already <laughs> I just started doing it of wood in just creating some darker corners where the wood meets there and there coming down again just blending in the corner area there. just putting in and creating little bits of shadow into the corners you might like to put some marks on the wood to make it look a bit more uh, like they are planks of wood you don't have to okay and the rest of the design I'm just going to use my black pen and just start putting in the silhouette so start painting the little birds and then I'm going to come down and do the grass and the bulrushes So just in scribbly up and down ways, making sure that my black's sort of connecting off the edge of the um, boardwalk. And just pop the leaves up and over, the bits of grass, the stems, and then colouring in the top of the reeds here. That's it. So I'm going to check my pen, see if it's going. I've got this pen and I'm pushing all boundaries with it. It is nearly empty, <laughs> but I keep thinking, yeah, I can get one more rock out of this. And uh, the only thing is as your pens are starting to get a bit empty, they won't be as smooth flowing. Like you're really pushing to get that last little bit of paint out of them. You can try and give them a little bit of a dip in water like that wipe it on your rock and give it a scribble just in case because um, you've got to figure out do you have a dirty tip or is your paint absol uh, pen absolutely running out of paint so that's what I've done in the water I just dipped it into the water and I pumped it up and down a couple of times just to get that flowing around the tip and then you could see that I scribbled it 
across on my pet rock bird and that was enough to stimulate the t tip and clean it because that's the two things you have like when your pen's not working you've got to decide are you working with an empty pen or are you working with a dirty nib so you can see here I am working with both <laughs> I'm working with a pen that's just about to run out and uh, there was something caught on the nib and so it just didn't want to flow out really nice at all but now that I've done that really quick little step you can see that the black pens just flowing really beautifully now hopefully we'll get all, all our way through this rock Another thing to do is if you think the pen is running out is when I'm doing uh, words or I'm doing like lots of black work like this I might grab a new black pen and use it especially if I'm writing text because you don't want to try and be getting in nice thin lines when your pen's nearly running out of paint or it's all blobby. Um, you want to get a nice fine crisp line. So this one will probably just go into my seconds container um, where I might use it for colouring in but I don't want to use it when I'm writing text on the back of my rocks or you know on the front of my rocks and just put in the horizon. You know looking at it as well putting in that horizon line I just feel like the birds I did too dark but that's okay. And grab your white pen and just add in those last little light splat, splats, splotches, highlights, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Um, add those last bits in where the sun's just reflecting off your boardwalk and then you're done. So come and show me the colours that you choose for your sunset. Put some reflection in the water. Jump on over to our Facebook group. I can't wait to see your rocks. Have a fabulous day being you. And I appreciate you coming and watching our video.